Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're taking a look at Burning Fight, a beat-em-up developed and published by SNK that was originally released in arcades in 1991. I'm playing it on the Neo Geo CD for this review, but it's also available on the AES as well as some arcade collections that were released in later years. The plot for Burning Fight is really simple and straightforward though you wouldn't know that from just playing the game because it features no story at all. There are no cutscenes, no opening text crawl, not even a proper ending but as it turns out the three playable characters are detectives trying to bring down a criminal syndicate in Osaka and that's it. You're not rescuing anybody, there's no revenge plot from what I can tell, you're just doing your job so not a terribly gripping narrative but it's an arcade beat-em-up so I'm not so upset by this. As generic and non-existent as the plot is the gameplay is almost just as generic I think it would be fair to say that this is a Final Fight knockoff as it follows the formula of having three characters with different attributes to choose from, plenty of weapons to pick up, and an army of street punks to beat into oblivion with each stage ending with a boss battle. So it's basically everything you'd expect from an arcade beat-em-up and not much more. That's not to say that this is a bad game because I think it's definitely worth a play, it's just nothing that's terribly inspired. I do like that you can occasionally pick up a gun and blow a few people away, though you'd think police detectives would you know always have a gun handy and not need to steal a criminals but its presence is appreciated nonetheless plus you can team up with a friend for some nice two-player action which is always fun but overall when compared to similar games like Final Fight and Streets of Rage or even some of SNK's later beat-em-ups like Robo Army or Mutation Nation for example this one doesn't compare all that favorably there's just nothing creative or innovative that was attempted with the gameplay but as this was an early beat-em-up for SNK maybe they were just trying to play it safe and test out this relatively new genre at the time so when only taking gameplay into account this is a passable game it's perfectly playable just not my first choice of beat-em-ups One thing you could always rely on SNK for is some great presentation, and Burning Fight is no exception. I personally really like both the look of the game as well as the soundtrack, though I'll say the visuals are the bigger selling point. This is a very colorful game with a lot of detail in each and every stage. They are pretty typical stages for a beat em up back streets, a harbor, an elevator stage, etc., but their design looks really nice, dare I say even better than the original Final Fight, at least from a purely graphical standpoint. The character designs are pretty cool too, they fit all of the tropes of the genre, but they have a bit of their own unique personality, and the sprites are large and fairly detailed, so I totally approve of the visuals. The sound design is pretty good too, though not as impressive as the visuals. The soundtrack is good, there are a few standout tracks, though most of them, while serving their purpose as background music, aren't all that memorable. Also, it must be said that the voice samples are clear, but the voice acting is atrocious. I'm almost inclined to believe that the lines were just fed into a computer and recited by a robot voice. That being said, the sound design is decent, and the visuals I think are excellent. If nothing else, they're a good match for the gameplay 
and premise. So with all things considered, this game is pretty good. Not great, but good. So this is a game that I'd recommend to beat em up fans who have maybe played all of the big names in the genre and are looking for something familiar and fun. It won't knock your socks off and I don't think it'll become anyone's new favorite beat em up, but it's definitely enjoyable. If you want to pick up either the AES or Neo Geo CD versions, you probably won't be surprised to find that they're both pretty damn expensive these days. On the other hand, it can also be found as part of the SNK Arcade Classics Collection for the PS2, PSP, and Nintendo Wii, and that's a collection that I would wholeheartedly recommend picking up. If you're in the mood to team up with a friend and beat the hell out of endless legions of street punks and gangsters, again, then Burning Fight will be right up your back alley.